Hey guys, this is Happy the Dick is doing out here, and today, now, so far I reviewed, so, now, I'm going to give you, I'm, I'm going to do it with, with another rant video. Now, before, before I go on with the rant, first I ranted about two times ago, then the Ben 10 reboot. What am I going to rant about the same? Well, I thought, why not rant about the whole Neo Spawn era of Power Rangers? Minus, minus Dino Charge. Because let's face it, Dino Charge isn't really that good. And why I think that the news of all the new Spawn Air seasons deserve to stay in the crapper. And why I and also why I'm sick and tired of discussing these things. This this era of power this dark, dark era of Power Rangers. Also, I'm gonna be talking about also we're talking a little bit about, about um You can go for any episodes 113 and 114. Since I finally got around to re since I finally got around to watching them both today. First of all, they're both good episodes, and they're basically a th it's basically and basically it's a three part duel between Soul Burner and Robopi. Which again is kinda cool. Now, oh boy, what are sorry? You guys know how much I loathe the Neo Swan era Power Rangers. Minus Dino Charge. Why minus Dino Charge? Because Dino Charge is a good season. It's a good series of Power Rangers. Despite being in the Neo Swan era. And of course, Cure Uger, being the Sentai that's adapted from, it's what. And the Sentai that's, that's adapted from, Cure Uger, happens to be one of my favorite Sentais. At the time. So anyway, let's get to it, shall we? Now. Start off with Samurai. Where to begin? Um I will give you I will give you credit where credit is due. Which is nowhere. I mean have we just come up with season like RPM? Which was all serious. Samurai felt like a slap of the face. Oh. But please, I'm also including these super seasons. So coming up, so coming up, so coming up off RPM. With Samurai being, with Samurai being the season's re, re reinvention. I thought it'd be I thought it'd be good, which at first I thought it was good. But then I saw the Japanese. But then I saw Shinkenjo. And it's a one for one copy. Much like Gow Ranger was Wild Force. I mean much like Wild Force was of Gow Ranger. With the exception of Master Org. This this is right here, Samurai, or Shinkenger, had no original villains whatsoever, which is why I like Wild Force more than I, which is ironically more, which is ironically the reason why I like, which is ironically the reason why I like Wild Force more than I like Gow Ranger.
Now on to Megaforce. Hell, oh, Megaforce, Megaforce, Megaforce. Where the fuck do I even begin with Megaforce? What about this? Uh, small. What the fuck were you thinking? Anyways, what the heck am I talking about? What the fuck were they thinking? Well, for one, they adapted. For one, they gave them two seasons back to back, which doesn't work for PR at all. Like, I like the idea of giving us two seasons of Power Rangers, but I don't think one Sentai after another, when those Sentais had nothing to do with each other, that was your first mistake. Kind of like how back when you did MMPR. For those of you who don't know, MMPR had three seasons. Which wasn't bad, but it was also not good. Here's what I mean, because throughout all the MMPR, we used one suit. Well, except for this, except for Tommy, the Six Ranger, that for that for that suit they use the that suit they use another suit. For him, they use a different suit. And and, and don't worry, I'll, don't worry, I will explain. So for my woven through season one through season three, they use the Jew Ranger suits, which. This is what I mean. These suits are from a different season, from a Sentai. Well, and obviously this is a, obviously this is a Green Ranger, and season two, they had a white. But that's not the point. So, the exact same five suits for season two. And also, um, those of you who are yes, I did get my NPR Season 1, Volume 2 disc set. Disc. And, um, <laughs> well, here's where it's funny. It's with the Green Ranger. Nothing, notice anything different about, about the solid? This disc set. They use the Dino Thunder Fighting Spirit version version of of, of his helmet because there is no silver lining on his helmet at all. Yeah, no silver lining. So, oopsie. But I like playing. I do like that. I do like that helmet, and I do like that suit. <clears throat> then when I saw Die Ranger, I realized that they didn't change the suits. Which... I'm kind of sort of okay with, because, I mean, I don't know how to explain it, 
but the way they did it, Mega Force was just sloppy. I mean, they called the Go Kaiju suit Super Mega Mode, which is just stupid. They call the they call these legendary ranger mode, which I mean, I guess it's kind of cool, but seriously, and the legendary battle at the end. Before we get to that, I'll talk about the so-called. Never before seen power ups. Yeah, um. Ooh, that's where I guess I. That's where I definitely. No. No. Nope. 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 That's where I gotta draw the line. That is where I draw the line. Why? Because... <laughs> I mean... First of all, you're an idiot, because... I mean... People who... People like me who have seen past these... Past anti-suits... No, those suits aren't are Power Rangers because they were adapted into Power Rangers. Well, what the heck am I talking about? Solar Rangers. Oh. Like the Ledger well, Squadron Ranger keys. Yeah, uh, that's Die Ranger. The Legendary Lightning Keys. Yeah, that's uh Ma yeah. Uh that's Mask Man. The legendary prison keys, Flashman. The legendary blitz keys, Change Man. The legendary Sonic key, um, yeah, that's uh five man. Yeah, that's five man. Battalion key, Dino Dynaman. See. That sloppy to me. I mean, you can't just bring in these new power. You can't just bring in these suits just because they're just because just because of stock footage. Okay, explain them more in detail. Then I'm okay with it. Boy, I doubt they two seasons that counteract each other. 
Ghost Age is about angels, and Go Kaiju is about pirates. Those who don't mix well at all. Sorry about that, guys. Like, hand the powers willy nilly. Nerp, 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 nerp. Now I came that. That is not okay in my book. But I mean. And by that I mean how any of the power-ups willy-nilly. Nope, 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 nope. Not okay in my book. Okay. Here we're home. Now for Dino Supercharge. Again, I excluded Dino Charge because that's the only good Neo Saban season. Fight me on that. I dare you. But before I go on Dino Supercharge, the legendary battle. I. Ooh. Okay. You guys know I'm a big Tommy fanboy. You guys know I would love to meet Jason David Frank. Because he is my... Cause that dude is my favorite... Ki that dude is my favorite actor in Power Rangers. But... Using him as a set piece is disrespectful. And I mentioned, um, uh, bringing back Robo Knight, my dad, um, and having Orion in, 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 in the battle, no, no, no. No, not okay. In fact, after Dynasty was done, that's when Hasbro should have bought the franchise. So we could have gotten a good season right off the bat. And maybe Samurai wouldn't be in this list. But you know what? We had to go through the bad to get to the good. And thank God has the rings because that they are rocking it with the toys and the show. Now on to my Again. These the legendary rangers, the ones returning as set pieces. Leo, Damon, Corone, Carter, Dana, TJ, Ashley, Tommy, Wes, how the f I mean. They were just set pieces. And again, fight me on that. I will accept any challenge to magic.
Now on to Dino Supercharge. It's bad. That's all I'm gonna say. It's bad. It's just bad. And now on to the number one season that makes me cringe more than the Emoji Movie. The one season that makes me cringe more than the Dumpster Fire trailer abomination of the live action Sonic the Hedgehog Movie. Because that makes me cringe so bad. That trailer was so bad. But now, on to... In fact, Ninja Zeal so bad that I would rather watch M. Night, Shama, M. Night Shyamalan Dumbass. This is a live action, live action, The Last Airbender. And crunch through that mess all over again. Now that is cringy. But in order, to, in order for me to want to watch Ninja Steel again, I have to turn my brain off. And just accept all the dumb, stupid crap that, that they do. I mean, I would gladly watch watch Dino Charge. Again, I would gladly watch that, because that's a good season. But Ninja Steel, oh my god, Ninja Steel. I mean... You guys know how much I hate that season of Power Rangers. I mean, hell, I ranted about two of the most stupidest characters in the history of Power Rangers on that show in plenty of video, in, in a lot of videos. Stupid Idiot 1 and Stupid Idiot 2. Or Victor and Monty. <laughs> And I actually want to barf just by saying their names. That's how badly I hate those guys. That's how badly I want those characters to just die. That's why I want those two idiots to get fired. To get out of the show. To be at least a little bit better. But no. No. It didn't happen. Instead, we go from a show that's about action to stupid, mindless, dribbled. Now, yeah, sure. I, you know, yeah, sure. I will, I will admit when I'm wrong. But the fact that we're not getting an apology from Hans Wong himself about writing such crap, about doing such crap, and the fact that the writers are now giving us a full apology. For being for, for, for being forced to write that crap. Shows the character. But these ones have shown that they can that they are competent enough to write a good story, to write a good show, to write a good episode of Power Rangers. Case in point, Beast Morphers! Now, granted, I'm not seeing every episode of Beast Wolfers. I hope to God that changes soon so I can watch Power Rangers again and get 
what I want. Which is a good season of Power Rangers. So I'm not cringing every single time. Now, if you're wondering, why, why are you all some of the bad Sentai seasons? Because, to be frank, I don't, think, I don't think there are bad Sentai seasons. Now, I, now I will say this, though. The ninja was pretty stupid and dumb, but it was it, it was acceptable in the ninja. I actually, and I will say this, I actually like the ninja. I was hoping to like ninja steel. But no, no, no. And when I heard that we were getting ninjas, I was excited. And when I heard that it was Ninja, it's like, okay, this could be good. Right? Oh, I, I was wrong. I was so wrong. Because, <laughs> I would say this, okay? The previous seasons of PR had very few little things going for them. But they had something. <clears throat> and it's been the key point of all of all my rant videos. Your season of PR had character depth, character development, character traits, <clears throat> character plot. <clears throat> Each Previous seasons of PR have plot, depth, development, character, growth. The Neo Spawn series, the Neo Spawn era Power Rangers, minus Dino Charge, had none of that. We need Hasbro. I hope you, Hasbro. I hope you're watching this. Or. How, or, or I don't know really watch this. I, I don't know. But I hope you do watch my... If you do care about the fans. And just... Cut Saban. Cut him off. Don't really make any decisions about the writing staff. Don't let him do anything to jeopardize your show, your franchise. I say this because you own the show rights. You own everything. <clears throat> you can just cut some on. Now, when they get through with Beast Morphers, will I hope that they adapt Common Rider? I do hope they adapt Common Rider, but I want them to get Power Rangers off the ground first. <clears throat> Once Power Rangers is back, on top where it belongs in the live action series ser series genre genre TV <clears throat> then they can adapt on our show. Like maybe Ultraman, give give Ultraman to American audiences with um with an American cast, much like they do with Dragon Knight. Okay, everyone, uh, that's going to do it for tonight. Um. Service video on brains might be delayed. 
so yeah um again thank you so much here signing off peace out y'all